Praise the Lord. We are welcome to the Rapture Daily Devotional this morning. By God's grace, our text this morning is the book of Job, chapter 2 of the book of Job. We began the journey of Job yesterday, touring around the whole book of Job. And in chapter 2 this morning, we saw again that... Uh, the angels of the Lord went to present themselves to the Lord, and Satan still went. We don't want to ask some questions. Amen. But all we know is that Jehovah still remained the master of all. Amen. He still remained the word. The master of all. Even the devil still, they are still subject. They are still uh, they are still under his control. So they remain his messenger. Amen. He remained the ogakpata pata of everything. Maybe that is one lesson we should learn this morning. That Satan and all his cohort, all the fallen angels, they are still under the world, under the control of Jehovah. Amen. It's on that account that we'll be able to look at it that how come Satan is presenting himself to the Lord? He's still, they are still messengers. Amen. Messengers of, they are not messengers of light again, but they are darkness. God can use them for evil purposes. Abby, that is what we are seeing this morning. And then we saw now the, the, the uh, Jehovah still boasting about Job, being a man of integrity, a man who what, who feared the Lord and shew evil, a man who lived a blameless life. The Lord is still boasting. I said and told Jehovah, he said, it's because uh, you have not touched his, 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 uh, his body. Yeah, at least he can uh, give out anything, but what of his body? And the Lord permitted Satan to continue to now begin to touch the body of Job. And Job came under heavy affliction, pains, tumors, torment, tongues in his flesh. Hallelujah. It was a horrible time for Job. Not only has he lost his properties, everything, his wealth, but now he came under sickness again. Hallelujah. Came under severe sickness. And then it became, you know, the talk of town. The kind of afflictions that Job was going through. To the extent that those who knew him before, when they came close his friends, they could not recognize him. Because he has been badly been, been, been hit by the plague that the devil unleashed upon him. Hallelujah. So this morning, message is to tell us that as a child of God, sometimes the Lord allow us to pass through testing time. It was really a testing time for Job. The Lord was using the devil to test Job how you know how committed Job has become, how grown, how mature Job has come. Amen. So let's not think that uh, it's only Job that passed through this thing. It's the same thing to our brethren over the world. They must come a time of what? I said they must come a time of what? I said they must come a time of what? Are we sleeping? Are everybody stand up? There must come a time of what? A time of testing. When the faith of men will be tested. Amen. When our claim will be will come under test. So let's be prepared for whatever. Amen. The Lord decide to do. Let it be that. Uh, we are on the good side of the Lord. One good thing is that Job remained on the side of the Lord. Despite what he was passing through, the pains and the agony, he didn't cost God. He didn't what? He didn't cost God. He didn't deny the Lord. He didn't start raising unnecessary alarm and questioning and doubt. He remained confident. My prayer for us is that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. That in our journey of life, we will remain confident in the Lord. 
no matter what we pass through, whether it is difficult, whether it's painful, whether it's lost of uh, things, material things of this world, because that was how it started for Job. Job lost all the material position he had had. Amen. Amen. And then from there, he migrated to affliction in his body. But in all this, the Bible says Job didn't sin against the Lord. May the Lord strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Maybe somebody is hearing this devotional this morning and you are passing through you know, difficult moment. I want to remember the case of Job. Amen. Amen. You need to endure because after this testing, trial, trial moment, there shall come a time of promotion. Amen. Amen. So what we see in the, in the life of Job, beginning from yesterday and today, is a trying moment, a moment of testing. God, the Bible says, God himself is being, is being subjected to fire so that his real quality can come up. I pray that whatever it is that will come away will remain steadfast, will remain faithful, will not soil our, because the, the devil wanted Job to soil his garment. Amen. He wanted, he wanted to spoil the reputation of Job, but Job refused. So what comes with the believers is with intention to make believers to what? To spoil their reputation. But we must stand firm and say no to the devil. And the Lord will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning. You. Lord, we ask that you strengthen us. That uh, no matter what, we will remain on your side. We will not soil our garments. We will not, uh, you know, you know, do the bid of the devil. But we will continue to stand with you in holiness and righteousness. Help us, Lord. The grace that was given to Job, Lord, give us that grace to stand against every aggression of the dragon and will not bow to the dragon in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.